pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Crimson Tide, Nick Saban, who is extraordinarily popular here on Rocky Top. So, Nick, we heard a report earlier in the show, Bryce Young expected to give it a go. How much was he able to do in terms of physical reps in practice this week? Well, we guarded his throwing. Uh, we had him on a pitch count, which was limited. Uh, he was able to practice. Um, this is the kind of injury that uh, it's almost like a pitcher having a sore arm. You don't want him to do too much, and you want him to have the best opportunity to get better. So we'll evaluate him in pregame. I know he wants to play. He's ready to play, and we'll see if he can do the things physically he needs to do to play. When a guy has as much experience as Bryce does and he's limited during the week, how much does that impact his ability to play at the level you would like for him to play and he would like to play? Well, you know, we trust him. I don't think he's going to forget how to play quarterback uh, just because he didn't have all the reps. Was timing be the same as it would have been if he had practiced all the time? Maybe not, but uh, we still think he's an awful good player. and. Uh, We'll make the decision if we feel like we think he can do the things that he needs to do to the level he needs to do them. Coach, I think all of us always marvel at you and Bill Belichick and, and how your teams constantly are growing and developing. You get to the end of the year, you're playing your best fit football typically. With that in mind, what have you learned about your team, not quite halfway into this season, that's helping you kind of learn how to tweak and, and adjust to get yourselves to continue to get better? I think the number one thing for us is consistency. You know, we've been a little up and down as a team. Uh, when we played well, we've been uh, really, really good. Uh, but there's been times where, you know, we're really pretty average. So uh, it's all about consistency and performance, discipline to stay focused on doing your job, uh, paying attention to detail, uh, having the right sort of mindset about how you want to create value for yourself as a player as well as how we can be the best team that we can be. And um, this will obviously be the biggest challenge we've had all year. Coach Saban, uh, this is Pat McAfee. I've never got to chat with you. I've seen you chat with other people, though, and I obviously enjoy that every single time. My question for you is, as soon as your face popped up on the big screen here in Tennessee, this entire state booed you. But you've been successful for so long, I feel like that happens everywhere. How do you continue to find the competitive drive and competitive spirit to still be the top guy in a sport after all the success you've had, Coach? Well, you know, I kind of enjoy the grind. You know, I enjoy the process of getting ready for the game, what we do on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, putting the pieces of the puzzle together so that uh, you see how it comes out, you know, on Saturday and um, work on the psychological disposition of the team, try to get them to play to the best that they can, create value for your players. Uh, so, uh, you know, and it's challenging. It's challenging in the SEC. Uh, it's challenging everywhere in college football. So we enjoy the challenge as well. And, um, you know, we know this game means a lot to a lot of people. So we're not expecting a warm welcome when we come up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Hey, Nick, thanks a lot for being with us this morning. Uh, best of luck in the game. Look forward to seeing you. how that puzzle comes out. All right, Nick Saban. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.